Apex Legends has been out for about a month now, and in that amount of time, there have been lots of videos about the best weapons and characters, different strategies to ensure you become the champion of every game, secrets about where the best loot can be found, and tons and tons of pro tips. But here on my channel, you won't be finding any of that, because I suck at this game. Despite being complete and utter garbage, I can still create something on Apex Legends that may prove helpful for you. In a battle royale game such as this, there is a lot of focus on gameplay and little focus on the story. Apex has a pretty large cast of characters, a crazy science fiction world that is somehow connected to Titanfall, and these weird things in the water that you can't stop looking at. But little is really known about them. Today we're going to try to change that and take a dive into the story and lore of the Apex Legends universe. The story of Apex Legends actually begins with Titanfall and the Frontier War. Cue epic music. The Frontier War is the term used for all conflicts waged between the Interstellar Manufacturing Corporation, or the IMC, the Frontier Militia, and various mercenary, pirate, and other private military groups on the frontier. Thank you Wikipedia for that definition. Basically, all battles in Titanfall and Titanfall 2 are included in this. Apex Legends takes place after the Frontier War, so after hundreds of years of conflict between the Militia and the IMF, the Frontier can finally be at peace. However, this all came at a cost. Because when the IMF and military left, they took everything of value with them like total D-bags, leaving the Frontier in disarray. With no way to support themselves, the people living in the frontier had no choice but to leave their homes and relocate to a place known as the Outlands. Not to be confused with the Outback. Being a remote cluster of planets on the outskirts of the frontier, the Outlands are untouched by war, making them the perfect spot for resources and new opportunities. But the Outlands are cheap, with danger lurking around every corner. The explorers, pioneers, and outlaws that came to the area used to spend their lives in an endless power struggle. But now, they settle it the only way they know how. Shooting each other in the face. And thus, the Apex Games, a sport where legends from all corners of the frontier compete for money, fame, and glory, was formed. That's pretty much it, at least for the time being. But within Apex Legends, as you know, are the legends themselves. And each one of them has their own unique backstory that led them to compete in the Apex Games. For the remainder of this video, we're going to go over each one of these legends. Don't worry. Uncle Timbo has you guys covered with that nice bedtime story. By the way, I will source where I got this information from in the description so you guys can take a look at it if you still would like more info. Bloodhound is known across the Outlands as one of the greatest game hunters the Frontier has ever seen. Other than me. Their identity is a mystery warped in layers of rumors. They are fabulously wealthy, a bloodthirsty murderer, a goliath whisperer, a former slave, half bat, and a dozen other things depending on who's doing the whispering. And you know I like to whisper too. All anyone truly knows is that Bloodhound is a force to be reckoned with in the Apex games. Bloodhound's unparalleled tracking skills are a boon to any team they join, helping them root out hidden opponents and tracking the enemy's movements, calling on Earth's old Norse gods to guide them. Bloodhound believes that destiny is a path that has already been laid out, eventually carrying all to their death. But with that knowledge comes strength, because until that day comes, Bloodhound knows they can't be stopped. Born into a military family where she, her parents, and her four elder brothers all served in the IMC Armed Forces, Bangalore has been an exceptional soldier since she was young. She was top of her class in the IMC Military Academy and the only cadet who could take apart a peacekeeper equip it with an old precision choke, and put it back together in under 20 seconds. Blindfolded. I timed her, it was actually 21 seconds, but who's coming? Three years ago, Anita, which is Bangalore's real name, and her brother Jackson, were ordered to retrieve a mercenary fleet from the Outlands to aid in the IMC's fight against the militia. However, their unit lost contact with IMC HQ and was ambushed on arrival. The squad scattered, but Jackson stayed behind to give his sister time to escape. Alone and with no way home, Anita put her training, extensive weapon knowledge, and competitive spirit to work by joining the Apex Games. Now she fights to raise money for passage back to the IMC home base, where she hopes to reunite with what remains of her family. Before there was Caustic, a scientist named Alexander Knox worked at Humbert Labs, the Frontier's leading manufacturer of pesticide fart gases. 
With a ton of pesticides needed to protect the growing frontier colony's crops, Humbert Labs was constantly on the hunt for better and stronger formulas. Knox was one of their brightest scientists and worked day and night developing new gases. But to make sure they worked, he needed to test them on more than just inert tissue. He needed something living. As he toiled in secret, Knox began to see the beauty in his creations and their ability to destroy anything they touched. Well, that's disturbing. But the head of Humbert Labs soon discovered his gruesome experiments, and their confrontation ended with the lab in flames and its chief dead. Today, Knox is missing and presumed deceased. Caustic, meanwhile, now finds new test subjects in the Apex Games, where he puts his unstoppable fart gas creations to work and observes their effects with great interest. Smelly. Gibraltar is a gentle giant with a wild side. The son of two search and rescue association of solace volunteers, holy crap, who comes up with these names? He has always been skilled at getting others out of dangerous situations that are common in the Outlands. However, he only began to understand the value of protecting others when he and his boyfriend stole his father's motorcycle, took it on a joyride, and got trapped by a deadly mudslide. His parents saved them, and his father lost an arm in the process. Gibraltar has never forgotten that sacrifice and has devoted his life to helping those in need. The Apex Games didn't change that, but they changed what it meant. Many of Gibraltar's friends and colleagues have competed in the games for extra money, fame, and glory over the years, and some never came home. Gibraltar joined to keep them safe, and for the first time his skills as a rescuer and his rebellious nature worked together. He's now become an icon in the Apex Games, putting himself in the line of fire to protect his squad and sent his opponents running for cover. You better hold that shift button, boy. Lifeline isn't someone you'd expect to find in the Apex Games. Once the child of wealthy war profiteers, she left home when she learned of the damage her family had caused and enlisted in the Frontier Corps, a humanitarian organization that aids Frontier communities in need. She's since devoted her life to helping others and joined the Apex Games to fund the Frontier Corps with their winnings. Since no one in the games is innocent, they all know what they signed up for and every one of her victories means help for those in need. Lifeline has no problem engaging in the popular blood sport, or so she tells herself. She may seem sarcastic and callous, but deep down she wants to help people make the world a better place. If that means taking a few people down in the process, so be it. If you ask me, she needs to sort out her priorities. Mirage, much unlike Timbo, is the kind of guy who likes to stand out. The youngest of four brothers, he perfected the art of fooling around to get attention. The one thing he took seriously was hollow pilot technology, introduced to the illusion creating tech by his engineer mother. He pored over the mechanisms and learned all that he could about them. Even when his brothers went MIA during the Frontier War, Mirage and his mother continued to develop hollow devices, and the work brought them closer. While working as a bartender to make ends meet, Mirage heard amazing stories from his patrons about the Apex Games and the wealth and glory that came with victory. As good as both of those sounded, he knew he couldn't risk leaving his mother childless until she gave him a set of customized hollow devices and took him to follow his dream. Mirage is now the life of the Apex Games, outwitting opponents and charming audiences across the Outlands. Pathfinder is the picture of optimism, despite his circumstances. A MRVN, or Mobile Robotic Versatile Enity. Words are so hard. Modified to specialize in location scouting and surveying, he booted up decades ago in an abandoned laboratory with no idea who created him or why. Definitely wasn't me. With only his MRVN designation to hint at his identity, Pathfinder set off in search of his creator. Pathfinder has learned much in his travels since then, like how to make a mean Eastern Leviathan stew, but hasn't come any closer to finding his creator. Still, he's never given up hope and has joined the Apex Games to gain a following and hopefully draw the attention of his maker. If you ask me, he's gonna need a buff before that happens. In the meantime, he remains enthusiastic and helpful, always ready to make new friends. Then shoot them in the face. And lastly, Wraith is a whirlwind fighter, able to execute swift and deadly attacks and manipulate space-time by opening rifts in the fabric of reality. But she has no idea how she got that way. Years ago, she woke up in an IMC detention facility for the mentally ill with no memory of her life before. She also began hearing a distant voice whispering in her mind that would keep her awake for days on end. Despite nearly driving her insane, once she started to listen and trust it, the voice helped her harness her newfound power of void manipulation and escape the facility. 
Determined to uncover her true identity, Wraith began a quest to find out more about the experiments. Many of the old research facilities, however, are buried beneath heavily guarded arenas used for the Apex games. Now Wraith has joined the competition, and with every match, she gets closer to the truth. So guys, that is the story behind Apex Legends, its premise, and legends. If you enjoyed this video and found it informative, or you just want to give old Timbo some love, you can do so by giving me a thumbs up. If you want to see more content, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you all so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.